When it comes to connecting with injured veterans, Prince Harry, a veteran himself, gets right into it. Rosa Sanchez Bermudez is paraplegic, shot on duty in Colombia. How do you feel about meeting Prince Harry? Very feliz. Super happy. Emocional. Yeah, <laughs> very emotional. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are in Whistler to mark one year until the first ever Winter Invictus Games, an event for wounded service men and women founded by the Prince. This trip to British Columbia comes as the couple could use some good press. What on earth happened? Despite the success of their tell-all Netflix documentary, future projects with the streamer are reportedly in doubt. The couple's multi-million dollar deal with Spotify is toast. Megan has signed on to podcast with another company. Enough for the Hollywood Reporter to put Harry and Meghan on the losers list for 2023, calling them whiny. It looks to me as if they are finished in Tinsel They're Town. so finished. Yeah. They're the most finished thing in the world. <laughs> This royal watcher says Prince Harry is polling less favourably than Queen Camilla. Even five years ago, that's something that it would have been almost impossible to conceive would be the case, but is very much a reality now, and it really shows you how much things can change, how much perceptions can change. The Sussexes just launched a new website, refreshing their brand. These images will no doubt be featured. It's all a win for the people who work in adaptive sports. It just raises awareness so that more people can get involved. Popular or not, that is the power of a prince. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Whistler.